You are listening to or watching the Wooden Spoon Podcast. Now let's start the show. And I thought, okay, people say inflation and, you know, just, but I remember back then, you had to go to the grocery store to buy your foods and paper, you know, Kmart. We have dollar stores, people. I, you can literally go to the dollar store. Now, again, these are not the A number one uh, selections in the world. Right. But you can go into a dollar store. You can get food. You can get uh, kitchenware. You can get some underwear, wide. socks, cleans. I mean, at the dollar store, that's a lot of people say, well, what can a dollar buy you? A lot. Yeah, these days. A lot. You think the dollar Because I remember having dollar stores. Think about it. We can go right now for $10, come home with 10 items. Oh, Ten okay. big items too. You can find some. And sometimes at dollar stores, they get that you know the um, full size uh, cereal or the yeah. brand name cookies or the brand name this or that. You can literally with ten dollars. Where the where the hell are you gonna go with ten dollars at a grocery store and bring home ten items? Nope. Car. I Remember, spent thirty one dollars last Sunday at dollar store. My God, you must have bought the whole damn place. Thirty one bucks I spent. So you know what I'm talking about. That's a lot. And I had a. Big ass cart full of shit. Absolutely, because the, the chips, the, the peanuts. I, I, I bought things. What did in, you buy? I bought things. Cleaning. In, I bought things in two. Right. So I so. Uh, uh, I always buy things in two. I don't know why. Yeah, just buy. Th- uh, you know, it, it must be our Italian or sponges. Two I packs. always buy two. Do you ever you ever notice that I, I, I get sauce? Two packs. Two sauces. Um, you know, uh, styrofoam cups for coffee. Always. Two two packs. Always. Um, all purpose cleaner. Two bottles. Comet, two bottles. Yeah. You know, I always buy, just so I don't have Why to... Why the hell are you cleaning well, all that? So I don't have to go to the wow. store every freaking yeah. time to go because buy this shit. Because it's like, if you have one, the minute it's done, you have to go get another one. Go get another one. one. I think, well, I... Well, that's all. I know and why. plus... That's why I get two. I have I everything. I have a thing of opening up my... Ever since I moved to mom's, opening up the cabinets and everything Having it lined up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, OCD shit. OCD, yeah, just yeah, take yeah. it out and just like, ah, I, I love, love OCD. It. I love OCD. Mom loves every bit of it. OCD is probably the most underrated disease. It's the best disease ever. Have. You it got, is. Everybody should have it. Everyone should everybody have OCD. Everybody should have OCD. They OCD? should. Um, ODD. OCD. OCD. Old Dirty Bastard. Um, but no, because... ODB. God rest his soul. I, I swear to God, I I look at something, I, I, oh God, I move it and... Yep. Not enough where you're crazy, where people go, what a fucking loony. Like he has to, you know, walk around the street. No, a times. loony is when you're constantly checking on it to Locked see if it's the same. Like, yeah. like in the morning. Is it locked? Is it locked? Is it locked? So yeah. like, like in the morning, before everyone comes in, like all my soaps for the, for the, where the kitchen is, the, yeah. the sink, all the so all the handles are facing one way, all the labels are all out. This, uh, like if there's a, if the creamer's getting low, I'll take. I'll go in the storage room, grab another full creamer, and put it. Yeah, no, the it's other OCD, one. man. It's OCD, and people love it. Love it. I I want more of it. The um, problem with me is when I watch TV or the radio, if it's on an odd number, I it drives me crazy. That that you have to see a doctor. For twenty-two, that. twenty-four, twenty-six. Yeah, that's OCD. That's where, that, I, that's where I got that from. Hmm. Bubba. Ah, nephew you might, Bubba. You might need to go see a doctor. That's right. That's fine. You. What about your favorite shows on Channel Three? You ain't gonna watch it. No volume. Oh, oh, I think I'm the channel. Nice. No, okay. the volume. Your volume okay, should be on ten right now. My, I um, have a volume number eighteen. I really do. I swear to God, that's my number on every right. TV. Eighteen. So yep. um, I do. Like I can't have the volume. We know mom and dad. This no, old no, epi- no, this, no, 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 seventy. This episode. They're deaf. They're, they're old. Seventy. <laughs> they're just old. Deaf. Uh, this I is the OCD. Ear, I have to wear uh, earplugs to go to bed. Because their TVs are so That's loud. funny. Um, all right. Event, we all right. Have, event. We have uh, Virginia shoplifters who oh, got gosh. who got caught wearing melon masks. <laughs> <laughs> their their masks were mel- <laughs> watermelon. Watermelons. <laughs> watermelons. <laughs> did, did they have the eyes? What's wrong? Yeah, they had the eye holes what's and the mouth. What's wrong? So they robbed it. Yeah, but they didn't use a mask. They used a watermelon as a mask. So so okay. So when they're cr- carving this watermelon out, they're thinking they're thinking we're, we're gonna, gonna go rob this. we're gonna rob this Walmart with these melons on our head. We're gonna cut the eyes out. 
No, no one's gonna ever know. I wonder if they left some in there, so why they're getting it, they just they ate, ate it, it. Yes. or like sucked on the juice. I yeah. would, I would too. So they put watermelon because that wouldn't that wouldn't be weird at all. No, you know <laughs> you could have a regular mask and no, no one would know no. the difference. So now no one recognize a watermelon. Right, they're probably like uh, these two idiots are gonna rob yeah, us. Right. <laughs> Uh, and even if they don't rob you, they're going to look at you more. They're going to suspect something. You're going to make a scene. You already It's already legal, which I have a problem with. It's already legal to walk into a bank, if you can walk anywhere, uh, uh, with a mask on. Could you imagine saying that five months ago? Yep. I'm going to walk in to an establishment. I'm going to walk into a gas station at 10 o'clock at night and I'm going to have my whole face covered. And you know what? The person behind mm. the counter is going to be like, thank you for wearing a mask. mask. All right, give me your money. This is crazy. Imagine you calling that in the 911. Uh, what was he wearing? Uh, he was wearing two watermelons masks. <laughs> like watermelon? No, actual watermelon. Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. So yeah, the whole mask. With the eye holes off. With the eye holes. <laughs> so you're telling me that you got robbed by two guys wearing an actual watermelon on their head. Yeah. Not a mask. It wasn't a costume. And they could have got away with blending in with everybody else with a regular mask. Yeah. All right. Now you know the two guys that either had the watermelon <laughs> or just dumped or on now they the killed the watermelon. They have nothing full of... <laughs> you ever watch the show The Dumbest Criminals? Yes, yes. Yeah. Like, sometimes you're like, really? Are you, Do you that dumb? Are you wearing... Are a, you that dumb? Are you wearing a mask now and thinking, um... One of these people are going to think I'm robbing them? Yeah, yeah. Do you ever think that? I do too. I'm like, how do you know they're going to, you're not going to get robbed? Did you see what I look like with my black mask and sunglasses on? Asshole. I mean, I look like a, I look like a game. Well, me too. I have my black hat on. Black hat and good black. But my my thing is, all my stuff is like merchandise that I sell. (laughs) I'd be the easiest one. Let's see what he was wearing. Oh, shit. He has a whole website. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, it, but I, I feel like I don't look too friendly. When I'm I, not happy. Yeah. We talked about it on, uh, on the podcast. We were in Chicago for a show. It was Halloween, and we and were this in the bar before, way before all this. Wait, crap. yeah, obviously two years ago, whatever yeah. it was. And uh, it was Halloween, and I turned to my brother and I said, "I hate Halloween, um, especially when you're older. Obviously, when you're a kid, just cute, um, or when you're trick or treating. But when you're out, people go out drinking. I go, it's the scariest time to be out because anyone can walk in here." And carry a, a gun or something, and pretend everybody thinks, "Oh, he's a he's a cop. He's playing a, 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 a you know whatever a army guy or army woman." And they have real shit, and they'll kill you. I mean, a soldier. A soldier, thank you. <laughs> army guy, uh, a soldier. <laughs> and uh, and I said, I, I I hate going out on Halloween. <laughs> now we're all wearing masks. We all look like we're going to rob somebody. I'm not comfortable at all. Current events. Mike Tyson and Evander uh, Holyfield. I see it. Evander I hear it. Holyfield I don't believe it. Better cover up his other ear. So <laughs> this is uh, Tyson Holyfield three. Yeah. Uh, the first two, everybody knows what happened. The whole ear thing. Uh, choo choo choo. Um, I have no idea what to think about this. I real is it? Let's get these stupid mother beepers. Uh, Their payday. <laughs> No, I, I think they're laughing, going, uh, yeah, people are going to pay for this they're shit. They're going to pay for and it. And we're like 60. Yeah. Um, or they're really going to beat the piss out of each other and it's going to look good. I don't know what to expect. I, think it's I little, really I don't. Think it's a little bit of both, to be honest. I don't know. It's all about money. You know what it is. Holyfield. It's all about money. Holyfield can't even speak. Have you heard that no, man don't, speak? Don't even care. He doesn't even. Putting a sentence together is worse than. Watching me and you putting a sentence together. And, and mean, Mike and Tyson's boxes, like getting better as he's getting Mike older. Mike Tyson. He's a comedian now. Mike, Mike Tyson's hilarious. He uh, is. Mike Tyson. I think he's a comedian because people are scared not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I said a joke. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> you know. Um, I said. I said you need to laugh. But, um, but yeah, the Holyfield Tyson. I want to watch it. But not because I think it's going to be great. Because I just want to watch it and see what the hell it looks like. Is there rumors of McGregor uh, uh, Mayweather again? No. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, there I is. Haven't heard there that. is. Like, yeah. I've, well, McGregor I've watched heard McGregor, Khabib, Khabib and McGregor, Fer- not, yeah, McGregor uh, Ferguson, Justin. McGregor Gaethje. Yeah, Ferguson yeah. just got his ass kicked, though. Yeah. So. Ferguson literally just got it. Yeah, yeah but he'll... They had, to bring, they had to bring his ass to the hospital. Yeah, they'll have a turn. McGregor... Uh, see his face? Did you see Ferguson's face? Yeah. He oh, got yeah, mangled, they, dude. They, they thought he broke the... Uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his eye socket. 
or Isaka or, 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 or yeah. but they didn't. It didn't. He, um, dude, he looks. Ba- Imagine waking up the next day. Did you see him the next day it's dancing in the fixed. dancing in old? No, no. He went on Instagram and was literally like getting ready to fight again. The next day. This is no. Was his with, face with, all with, swollen or no? Well, yeah, but he didn't care. He's like, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm like, it's been less than 24 hours. He's he dancing. Look like frickin- oh, he looked like yeah. He just got his hamburger meat. Well, what um, McGregor put on uh, Twitter, he said, "After I dominate the 155, it's on to 170." Sheesh. All right. Well, I, I'm uh, I'm interested to see the Tyson and Holyfield. Uh, Holyfield. Not because I think it's going to be a great match. I just want to see two senior citizens fighting. <laughs> Collect their social security <laughs> check. Ten million. Ten Twenty million. billion. Oh dollars. yeah, they're going to get more. Yeah. Current events. What we got? Right, right. Anything right, else? Right, right. No. That's, That's it. it. Good. Well, thank you, uh, Intern Tally, uh, with current events. By the way, they're good. Those are good ones. That was, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, I like the watermelon. <laughs> watermelon head. That was good. Uh, so, uh, as we said, we do have a uh, we do have an email. Uh, email. Email. That, uh, I I saw come in, and I didn't read it. I don't like reading them before because then it, it might um, take away from the actual how I answer it. Right. Uh, but if you want to email us, please. Email us at thewoodenspoonpod at gmail.com. Thewoodenspoonpod at gmail.com. And what do we got? What is today's email? All right. So it says, hello. Hello. Um, hello. I'm a, I'm, a <laughs> hello. Lo- I'm a long-time SoundCloud listener and now a YouTube viewer on the podcast. Cool. Love yes, what sir. you guys are doing. Question is, people say... If you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. Meaning, if you love what you're doing, it won't feel like you're working. So, are you guys in your dream job? Or if you're not, what is your dream job? Thanks, and keep on doing what you're doing. Hmm. Zach. That's, that's, okay, wait a minute. Does he think so, this is we our just, dream job? I don't know, but didn't we just he, talk about this? We did talk about this. We did, but we that's didn't know about the email. Up. It is. Well, to, uh, to our e- to to the guy who sent the email, guy or girl, so, however, yeah. what was this it? is not this is not our job. This is not my job. So the question was, which I, I've heard that say, if I was job, getting paid to do, I've this, heard that state. If I was getting paid, are you to in your dream job this, right yes, now, or if you're not, what is your dream? So the, the statement, and I think both. Yeah, the statement is. Car loves what he people does. People always say, if I you do. love what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, it won't feel like you're working, right? right. I it's guess true. You, you know, it's true. Um, it is true because I'm finally, I'm so, finally experiencing. So, uh, yeah. is this? So obviously, yes. Um, and it sucks because we kind of went into detail without earlier. even knowing that's about okay. it earlier. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I I I've worked many of many of many of jobs that I absolutely hated. Yeah, every job I've had. Absolutely, and I've worked many jobs. See how that was less many's. Um, I worked many jobs that I liked. I liked, but didn't pay enough. <laughs> oh yeah, I liked different uh, parts of that job. Right. Um, and it seemed like to me the jobs that I dealt with people I loved, and the jobs that I wasn't really around people you don't uh, like was not one of my one of my favorites. Right. Obviously, that goes back to what we were talking about earlier. When I was younger, I knew I wanted to be an entertainer. I watched it like he used to put his head up, uh, service people's asses when they came over the house. <laughs> I would be all up in the television, Elvis, watching Elvis, Elvis and Dean and Martin, Jerry Martin. Lewis, yep. Three, uh, uh, Three Stooges, yep. uh, Abbott and Costello, yep. um, uh, all the variety shows. I was like this. I could remember on the floor. You still sit like that? Well, I have no. I <laughs> on the floor, and I would just be staring at yeah, it I know. with a big smile on my face. Well, uh, yeah. And uh, comedy, and mostly comedy. Ninety nine. No, I got comedy. into the comedy with you too. Ninety nine percent comedy, uh, comedy, but then jam. music. Um, I was in music. Uh, so in sports, but I knew I was. I'm not gonna play sports. I knew that. So, um, so I knew that I liked my job when I dealt with people, customer service, sales, um, sale, anything like that. Yeah. Um, which kind of what I'm doing now. So yes, I am currently. In my dream job, which makes it hard because when something like this happens to a job that you that you hate, people go, great, I get to be at home, collect unemployment from a job I can't stand. Same. That's a win. win. That's a win-win for them. Win-win. Win-win-win. Yep. They don't have to go back to the shitty job. They're getting paid sometimes well, more. Well, for up to six months. They well, whatever. Right. Even if it's a day. Right. I remember 
working in restaurants. If you said you had today off and I thought I had to work, it would like make my life. <gasps> oh, thank God. I don't have to go in that stinky ass asshole. kitchen. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, so when you're telling somebody you might be home for the next six months and you're going to get paid maybe even more than you got. Yeah. They all are getting Yeah. No one brings exactly. home $950 a week. $1,000 a week. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah. But because I am in my dream, my dream industry and my dream job, being home for me is horrible. Horrible. In many me. ways. Horrible. Yeah. Um, so there's not a lot of unemployment for people that go on the road. And, uh, you know, there's more little things you have to worry about. Not that I don't want unemployment. I want to go to work. So, yes, I am in my dream job, um, which everything becomes my dream job. Like, podcasting, I love because it's part of, like, the industry. I feel like I'm getting creative and I'm doing that stuff. Uh, so, the answer to that, was it Zachary? What, Zach? Yeah. Um, is, yes, I am in my dream job. I've had jobs that weren't my dream job, and you're absolutely right. You feel every second of a shitty job. Yep. And when you're having fun and you love what you're doing, time flies by. So and people notice it too. Oh yeah, people notice it. Um, yes, I am at my dream job right now. Yeah, absolutely. But you've been at dream jobs though. I've had dream jobs, but this is the real. You got the whole package. I got the, the whole right people. Uh, the right company. Right. I, I got the right boss. Right. I got the right company. Because you I were got, doing maintenance before. I was doing maintenance all over the place. Right. For years. But, but this one is um, it's cleaner maintenance. It's more commercial maintenance. Instead of residential maintenance. Yeah, because you've been in some shit holes, cockroach and right. shit. Right, when you're working with uh, cl- um, uh, tenants. And yeah, yep, yep, so I don't have to. In the so, property management yeah, field. Yeah, so, right. um, yeah, and you know what? When you, when you are at your dream job, uh, um, it doesn't feel like a job because right. you, you put pride into it. You're going to put your pride into what you do. And when you do that, people notice. You don't even have to talk. People... Right. I will talk for you. They literally will. And it's the same as when you're in a shitty job. You don't have any oomph. No oomph. You're like, ugh. No oomph. I mean, you still do your job so nobody gets hurt or nobody. You still have to fix your toilets or whatever. But you're not doing it with, like, this pride. You're just, fuck. Paycheck. Right. Now now it's like, wow, I. I Yeah, you want. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, we are both at our. our That's very lucky to say. Careers, yes. It is. And we're not like. (laughs) <laughs> we're not sugarcoating it. We're not trying to be. It's yeah. It, oh, it's no. not like I've had this dream job my whole well, life. We ex- I just got it. The funny thing is, we started the show <laughs> telling everybody that you were like three, four years old up people's asses yeah, so to find out what they were doing. How to fix things, yeah. And I was like a young child watching, you know, making my own guitars yep. and stuff. And then we get this. Email. And then you get. And I swear. I didn't look at it. I don't know. I don't like doing that. Sometimes, sometimes they come up to me. Hey, I want to go through this in the show. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I yell at Mike, yeah. don't tell me. Tell me live. Tell me live. Yeah. So I get a real reaction. So, and it's funny that this happens and, um, and it's about what we just talked about. So yeah. it's, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Uh, but I also remember being 19 years old and not knowing. So Tali, you had your first, now you worked at a pizza shop, which I worked at a pizza shop. Did mm-hmm. you ever work at a pizza shop? San Remo was the cook. Oh, yeah. My God. How am I stupid? <laughs> and then downtown. Yeah. I forgot. Uh, I worked at a pizza shop. Um, he worked at a pizza shop. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Should be called, I, but I didn't, this should be called the Pizza Shop Podcast. I didn't make pizzas. I made the food. I made the. I was in the you kitchen. You made food. Yeah, I made the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the pizza. Got I didn't made make pizza, pizza either. Yeah. I, I did all the prep. I did uh, yeah. sandwiches. I yeah. did yeah. all the... Um, uh, you know, whatever. All those salads and uh, getting the chicken wing, all that stuff. Right. Right. I did all the prep. Uh, there was the pizza guys. There's pizza guys. I know it sounds crazy, but there's certain people that make great pizzas. Oh, yeah. My that's, best that's what their job that, is. The people that have been there for Right, that's what their job is. They, they just make you pizzas. Know, my best friend. My yeah. best, he's your too. He's yeah. not your best friend, but. My good friend. Good yeah. friend. Best pizza I'm maker. his owner. He's your um, uh, <laughs> that would be next episode. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, yeah, we are. So. Again, you're starting a webman, so you really don't even know what. I mean, you might you might have an idea what a dream job might be, but There's being no young enough to not know. Now, when you were young, you heard Uncle Mike, Brother Mike, you heard me. Well, when you were young, did you have anything like that? Yeah, you did. I mean, you don't have to talk about it, but you, so you did. So yeah. you. So when being young, that's awesome, because that's why I always say you know what you want to be, and a lot of people, in a lot of situations. Move you away from that a lot of times. Yeah, most of it's school. 
Yeah, it's teachers your are dream, doing, your uh, dream job, but you have to. Are generally a, like people like you got, I, you relax. Gotta, you gotta get a four year degree to relax. Get that job, and, you know, all you, know, you want. You need a bachelor's right. degree to have that job, and you, you and know. generally, generally, it's like when you're in the industry of entertainment, people tell you to go shut up. Anytime, there's not many teachers. Not many, unless they're in the arts themselves. Not many uh, yeah, the art counselors. Teacher, the, art te the art teachers, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, uh, or the, you know, the drama just, teacher. They're just as... Because uh, they're in the they're delusional. Fantasi they're <laughs> fantasizing just as much as you are. But uh, when you talk to a, you know, a guidance counselor or something like that, and you go, I want to be a stand-up comedian. I want to be an actor. And they're like, okay. Go to school, go to college, have something to fall back on. Which, of course, that makes sense. Because the percentage of people making it in the business is so low. Low. <laughs> um, honestly, I you know when we say made it, we were in our late forties, forties, and we stumbled upon it because we kept on doing it over and over and over. It's a miracle of the internet, right? Over and over. So you never know what's going to happen, and you. But that's not a guarantee. It, right. It's you know, uh, Louie and I did this for thirty years prior with not a penny. There's also with no internet though. Yeah. Right, but back then. That back then, it was okay because no one had internet. I mean, it's not like we just didn't have internet. We had other things, public access. We had, you know, back then you had to move. And that was the disadvantage. You had to go to L.A. You had to go to New York. Right. You had to go. Right, you right. had to know somebody. Yeah. You had to live in an apartment with 20 people that everybody made $5 on, you know, an hour. And, they, they you know, you would do stand-up, open mic, and get 5 bucks or 10 bucks, And that's what you did. And you tried to do all these open mics all over the place in one night so you can get this $5 here, $20 here, $10 here, and pay your rent. And then during the day, you work at your freaking, you know, restaurants and this and that. Nowadays... You become internet celebrities, internet YouTube sensation. celebrities. You become Instagram famous. You become TikTok famous. You become all this stuff that people have. Um, so it's a lot easier. But still, when somebody goes up to their guidance counselor and says, I want to be a YouTuber, they go, yeah, go to school. Go to school. Because it's still yeah. hard. Right. Because not only can you do it, so can 5 billion other, other people. people. Right. So now you're trying, like this podcast. If we were the only podcast, we would have 7 million people watching us. And we could be shitty. Because, you know, it's the only one on. But we're part of 700,000 podcasts. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. We always end the show with our t-shirts. It looks like I'm the only one playing. Yeah. And you've got I, a long I, sleeve. Uh, what is that? No, it's just you. Wildwood. It's for Wildwood. I like that. Another one. Wildwood shirt. But that one's kind um, of And you got a cross? That's a cross. It's called... Uh, God given health. God -given. Um, well, that's... you can't go against God, so Dad wins. Right. Well, this yeah. is a this is a godly uh, it's a shirt God I'm wearing. Shirt. It's actually one of uh, one of good friends of ours uh, that has uh, her business. Nice. God given health, and um, very nice. I'm gonna give very a shout nice. out to her, nice. and I'll take the win. I'll take the yeah. win. I'll take, take it. Take it, take it take so it. three, two, one, right? Yep. Take it, take it, take it. No, no, no. Four. four, three, one. one. We'll also four. end the show yeah. with what have we learned? So um, I'll go first. Seeing that I get yelled at every time I go to you or you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did I learn? I learned today that um, having OCD is not a bad thing. More people should have OCD because then I think the world would be a lot cleaner <laughs> and more organized. <laughs> uh, so I embrace my OCD. I want a little bit more, actually, right. uh, <laughs> in certain spots. Um, so that's what I learned today, that OCD should be uh, embraced. Right. What did you learn? I learned that uh, don't ever, ever stop until you're satisfied with you ha what you want out of life. Wow. With this guy asking us if we have our dream jobs, mm -hmm. and we did not stop until we found our dream jobs, and we got our dream jobs. So, so pursue, what I learned, pursue happiness. Happiness. Yes, that's what I learned. And the only person that can stop you is yourself. yourself. Good. Wow, we are such a cliche wow. show right now. Like so positive. It must be guy getting health. It's good. Oh, yeah. That's um, so. Uh, you learn, yeah. You learn that uh, keep keep your dreams alive. Keep your dreams alive. And keep going for keep them. Going, yep. Now, sometimes, 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 you might have to have other jobs while you're seeking your dream job. Right. Well, I mean, you need to make money. Money is Time, needed. Timing is everything. Because you need to make money. It's timing so, in life. Right. Every, timing is everything. Yeah. It, 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 sir, you wanted your dream job at nineteen, but you got it at forty-five. Nineteen. I wanted at nine. That, that's okay, but at least you got it. At least you're finally there. Right. Yeah. But what did you learn? 
I learned that you want to rob anywhere, don't worry. <laughs> <a watermelon. laughs> That's true. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah watermelons, watermelon watermelons are meant to eat, not, not to, to rob. Right. That's uh, right. stores that was good. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys had fun. Again, if I can get this all done in one, we'll be back with a brand new episode Thursday. If not, Hell we will yeah. see you next week. And make sure you check out uh, part two uh, that drops on Thursday. And uh, I'll tell you guys, this has been fun. Oh, good. I do want to say, oh, God, I wanted to start the show with uh, this. Uh, I always want to thank Austin Giorgio uh, oh, yes. for the theme song. But if you look onto our um, YouTube channel, I had a uh, surprise interview with Austin Giorgio, uh, our manager, not our manager, Louis and myself, our manager, Tony Napoli, uh, because of the whole quarantine thing. He's actually doing uh, interviews at home. I think he's on his like fourth, fifth one, uh, and he's been interviewing. And uh, the other uh, day, I think it was Friday or something, he had Austin Giorgio from The Voice that does our opening song and uh, our closing song. And I surprised him on that. So check that out. Uh, on our page on the Wooden Spoon Podcast uh, channel. And I want to give thanks to Austin for allowing us to use his song. And I, I asked him if he would love to, you know, when this all clears up and we can have people and all that, yep. he's going to actually be on our podcast. Nice. And uh, we're nice. going to have some fun with it. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, what? Stay you safe, it. stay clean. We love you. Sorry, sorry. I screwed that up. We're going to do that again. Um, what do you mean? Because I said, as I always say, I don't say it. You say I it. say it. But that's so, okay. Just take two. That's all good. Uh, I'm going to keep all this in there. Right. Um, <laughs> again, people, as Mike always says, stay safe, stay clean, and we love you. Austin, take it away. Cut. Good oh, choice. That was a nice conversation. It was good. And we hope we get more than five people watching. Yeah, we got we always get more than five, you know that, right? Come on! Dabba, badaba diba, zubba, badiba, mzi, wa, ba, 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 